Hello and welcome to the NFLHouse.com. I have Carlton Powell joining today. Carlton, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Good, good. Uh, now, Carlton is a former defensive tackle for the Virginia Tech Hokies, who have had one of, if not the, best defenses in college football over the past two or three years. But from last year's team, they're losing seven defensive starters, all of which, including you, have a great chance of getting drafted on April 26th. What did it feel like for uh, playing on a, such a star set of defense? Definitely a blessing. I mean, I feel as though it's a great experience for me. And I came to Virginia Tech knowing that they played great defense and I always wanted to be the number one defense in the nation. And we achieved that a couple years in a row. And um, it's just great being out there with all the rest of the guys because everybody was the same caliber, uh, level of talent. And it was just a good time. Yeah, and, and you were somewhat unnoticed. You had a very important part of that defense uh, because you played up front and you didn't get all the stats. Um, that lack of recognition or great stats annoy or frustrate you at all? Uh, never, never that, because, I mean, we all part in the same system. I mean, each part is equally as important from from the one call that might turn the beginning to the one in the middle to the one at the end. I mean, the foot team walks about the big toe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, playing in the ACC and in many tough bowl games, uh, who do you remember as being the, the best player you've played against in college? Um, one of the best I've been up against, as far as off the guard wise, was um Brandon Albert from UVA. Yeah. He, the guy has great athletic ability. And he's real quick off the line. He has um great strength and uh and balance. He's an all around player. Yeah, he's he's up there for uh, off the guards coming out this year in the NFL draft. And uh, I I know you were invited and participated in the NFL Combine. How was that experience for you? And how do you think you did? Combine was a great experience. I got to talk to a lot of different people, you know, do the interviews with the coach. And I, I know I got across to them. I tried to care to my personality. And I believe it's the most important part. As far as um the workout, I feel as though I can get a subpar performance and I know I can do better. But um I believe interviews went real well because we had three days of those and one day of workout. Yeah, interviews are always uh, the biggest part of the combine, as so the scouts say. <clears throat> Did you notice any teams... Uh, really looking at you, or is everyone looking at you in the same light? Um, yeah, it was definitely some teams that were showing extra interest in me. Um, do you want me to list them, or just... I mean, yeah, any anyone really that really stood out in your mind? Oh, um, well, right now, I mean, Minnesota was really looking at me. Um, Miami, um, North Carolina, <clears throat> Indianapolis, Oakland. Yeah. I mean, a lot of great teams out there, and I just want to, you know, try to get across to them the kind of player I was, and I can just show them what was up. Now, speaking of what kind of player you are, what do you feel is the best aspect of your game? The best aspect of my game is, uh, what do you think? That's yeah, part of my endurance, you know, because I feel as though as the game goes on, I get a lot stronger, a lot of people get weaker and take her off. When it comes to the fourth quarter, I can just dominate. Yeah, and, and what do you think, what do you think you can improve on before the NFL draft, or when you're in the NFL? Um, definitely using my hands more on my pass rush, you know, because a lot of times I leave my chest open and it makes it easier for people to block me. Um, and just learn learn offense schemes a little bit better maybe and um, things that are technical fundamentals, stuff like that always can improve. Yeah, that's, that's always important. Um, there are three major defenses in the NFL, the 4-3, the 3-4, and the cover 2, which is kind of a branch off the 4-3. Uh, every coach seems to have a different type of scheme. Uh, what what type of defense do you think you fit in? And you think any coach's scheme, uh, in addition to that, that you think you really fit in perfectly with? Well, um, we play the cover two scheme here, so I'm used to that. But I'm, I'm an intelligent player. I mean, I can roll with it, whatever I need to do. I can learn it. I mean, I'm a quick learner. I learn on my feet, so I feel like I can pretty much fit in any scheme anywhere. Any scheme? Do you have any preference at all? Like, would you like to stay in the cover two? or? Not at all. I mean, I like trying to play, you know? Okay, good. All right, just a few questions to end on. Um, what was the one game or one play you remember most in college? One game was play, uh, probably my first snap ever when I first started playing my red shirt freshman season. We were playing against USC. It was the only game on the first game was Black Coach Association. Um, game that was in FedEx Field, nighttime. I mean, ninety thousand fans. It was it was ridiculous. Yeah, I can imagine. And I remember that orange bowl you had. You had the, the three sacks. 
That was also pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I, I thought you were going to tell yeah. that, but. That's a great way to end it, and I, I thought it was a great way to. I mean, it's just been a great career. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, now, now, how do you feel you rank against some of the top rated players on ESPN or Scout.com or even the NFL House.com? Comparison to such as Glenn Dorsey and Cedric Ellis. How do you feel you compare with them? Do you feel you're better in some aspects or something that they have, um, I mean, something that you have that they don't give? I mean, we, we definitely probably measure up pretty much the same or equally as far as, you know, just the physical aspect of the game. But I think, you know, I bring a lot more to the table as far as the tangibles, you know, just just my attitude, the way I, you know, come to practice every day, being a hard worker, helping guys out, things of that nature. <clears throat> Okay, and finally, what is the one thing you want the NFL draft world to know about Carlton Powell? Man, it's a home. They call the Powell. It's coming to play, man. And he's never going to stop. I mean, you go get him. Go <laughs> out there and get it done. I mean, not too much I can say. I mean, I can show him better than I can tell him. Yeah, that's, that's always good. All right, all right, great. Thanks a lot for your time, and good luck with your future plans in the NFL. All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Yep, thank you. That was Carlton Powell, defensive tackle prospect from Virginia Tech. That's all we have for today. Thank you for visiting www.thenflhouse.com, and hope to see you again. Thank you.